Ah, so scenic. So beautiful. But enough vacation time, it's time to get back to work! Yee. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I have to say, Mario has not had a very good vacation. He's been constantly working since the very time that he came here. <sighs> that includes this level right here. Stand in the center here. I showed this before, but I'll just show it again in case you forgot. And look up at the sun. You'll end up at Noki Bay. Yep, My favorite level of the game. Just look how beautiful this place is. It is freaking gorgeous. And you're gonna see this guy right off the bat. Ah, oh, welcome, Master. Ah, uh, you know my name! I've never met. Oh, okay. That, that makes a lot more sense. I was wondering if you heard about my secret identity or something. Oh, never mind, never mind. Anyway, yeah. What does this terrible problem. Oh, boy. Looks like a mole is gumming up the works. Yeah, and we gotta get up there, I betcha. Yeah, cork their waterfall. How do you possibly cork a waterfall? I, I would like to see anyone try and cork a waterfall in real life. I, I mean a cork, not a dam, a cork. It, it, it would just be impossible. Uh, anyway, you gotta climb up there somehow, and the way that I recommend that you do it is to take... Wait, wait, me? Yeah, I guess, yeah, you could take this path over here. There's a bunch of ways that you can get up there, which is why I'm kind of confused about which way that I want to go. Um, you know what? I will take this path. It'll be a little bit easier. So I'll just climb up these things here. I have no idea what the heck this is. I think it's supposed to be shells, like... Like, look at it from up here, and it looks like uh, maybe an oyster shell uh, thingy, yeah. Anyway, spray this, and you'll weigh it down. Yeah, you fill up that pot, and you'll weigh this thingy down, but it doesn't stay up forever, it eventually goes back down. Whenever you see a thing in this wall like this, you can spray it, and that wall will actually move in. Yeah, this is evidently like an ancient ruin type of place here, and when you see a picture on the wall like that, you can often spray it, and you'll also, like, make a platform appear out of it. That's how you climb up to the top of this area here, is you spray off the uh, graffiti to bring back the platform that the paint magically terraformed, or landscaped, whatever the heck you want to call it, out of place here. And, uh, yeah, you get the idea. And you'll notice that there's a dolphin picture over here. Let me guess what happens if you spray this off the wall. Yep, it makes a platform appear. And then what you can do is spray this pot over here, fill it with water, and then you can easily hover over to here. This stuff is pretty optional, as you can just use some really skillful wall jumps to get up there, which I'll probably show you how to do later, it's just in my nature. And here's a cute little whale painted on the wall. Oh, it's just so precious! And it somehow, again, made a platform up here. And what the heck? This is kind of weird. Hmm. Well, whatever. <laughs> Let's just go up to here and grab that springboard. Yes, a springboard in this game. But these work differently than normal springboard. When, when they're big like that, you can just jump on them like so. But in order to carry them, you have to spray them with water like that. Uh, maybe I don't have to grab that springboard. Maybe I have to grab another one that's along this path. Uh, I'm just trying to do this like the normal way. You know, the way the designers intended you to do, and not the uh, super special shortcut way. But I think I'm gonna end up doing the super special shortcut way anyway, because I'm just not used to doing things the normal way, man. I'm just not used to it. <laughs> so anyway, go up to here. I, I notice I'm really low on water here, but that's okay. There is something to get water coming up very shortly. So just... Let's do a little side flip, the wall kick, and get up to here. There we go. And conserve your water if you can. There we go. And this little spring here is where you can refill. Quite handy, I must say. And I also like the detail of this little spring area here, too. I don't know why. That, you can actually walk into it partially. It's just like it's it's more detail than there needs to be in this area. I, I, I don't know. You know, this... It's just like a little added touch that I just like. Anyway, side flip up to here, wall kick, and then get 
get yourself up here, avoid the paint blobs, oh boy! <laughs> so, now we're up here near the mall, and spray this platform up right away, and you guess what you need to do here, yep. Throw bomb-bombs at the mall. Yep, just throw three of them, just get all the way near this edge here, and then throw them and you won't have any trouble hitting them. As a matter of fact, you're at the perfect distance to hit them if you stand right next to that fence. Oh, the poor mole. Team Rocket's blasting off again! Okay, I just had to make that reference. Anyway, grab your shine, and I'll see you in the next shine! Episode 2, The Boss of Tricky Ruins. This is like a take 3, actually. I just can't find the right path. Until I found the right path, and I was like, oh, I'm an idiot. Because, you know, as I said, I would like to do these things, you know, as the game designers intended you to do, just so you can get the full experience of the game. And uh, no, I'm not going to be your new teacher. Never, ever, no. I have shine sprites to collect and I have no time to be teaching you. And I just got attacked by a fish. That was horrible. Ah, I got attacked by another fish. <laughs> Look out for the fish here. Also, if you fall into the water, I forgot to mention this in another episode. It's poison water, like that poison water back in Bianco Hills. So, yeah, don't fall into it, it'll harm you. And this here is a springboard like thing. If you walk across it like this, it won't do anything. But if you do a little hop, it'll spring you way up high. Anyway, now that this guy's gonna give you some information that I pretty much already gave you in the other parts. I should say episode one, excuse me. And of course your theory is going to be way off. Of course it's going to be. I mean, there's 14 shines to collect from Milky Bay in total, including the totaling of the coins and everything. As you've seen, he kind of pointed out that square on the wall. I already described that you can spray those things. And our objective is to get to that shine sprite over there. So, yeah, we have to get over there, and I intend to get over there. So what you want to do is go in the first-person mode and spray that way up there. And you got a little wall jump course of sorts. So switch to your hover nozzle and go up here as quickly as you possibly can. I hope I'm taking the right path here. Wait, 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 am I? Okay, I am taking the right path. I just took the, uh, I took the wrong corner there. And go up to here and then spray this wall. Go for the um, there's gonna be another- oh, oh, that worked out nicely. Normally you would have to ju wall jump all the way up there, but I just got a really lucky wall grab there. And just go up to here. You have limited time to do this before they start closing in on you. So, yeah, go through there as fast as you possibly can, and then get up to here. And it's Gooper Blooper again! Yes, he's back for a third time. Ugh, why? Anyway, spray his schnoz over there, and yeah, you know how to beat Cooper, Cooper, Cooper. Come on, we've done this a bunch of times before. Just pull off his front two limbs there, and uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's only the middle two that you have to worry about. The other two are no problem. And I should also mention that someone told me that once his eyes turn red when you grab a schnozola here, you can just let go of his nose and he'll take a hit from it. You don't have to keep pulling it all the way. So that's a nice little shortcut there. I have to say thank you very much. So let's just take off his other arms. And that's still very, very gross and disturbing. Oh, I almost got his other arm. Yeah, I should say tentacle, not an arm. An arm implies that it's got, you know, like, bones or something like that. These are... Uh, oh, shoot, how the heck? <laughs> I thought if you grabbed it, uh, his nose, he doesn't do that. Anyway, and there we go. That didn't take long at all. You know, once you find the right path, dang it. And he went right through that hill this time. What the poop? Anyway, jump down here. And you're going to go to a secret area of the ruins. Yeah, over here you're going to see... You can jump through uh, over here by this waterfall here. I, I really... I don't know if you can take a shortcut by like hovering through here. Because you can clearly jump down here and go to this hidden area without... You know, if you could get over to there to get to the shine. I don't know if you can do that though. Someone will probably say if you can or not. 
I never tried it myself, but it certainly seems like something that someone could abuse. Anyway, grab the shine, and I'll see you in the next shine. Woohoo! Okie dokie, episode 3, Red Coins in a Bottle. Any parody to ship in a bottle, people? Anyone? No? Maybe? Well, anyway, he's got this tiny bottle over here. It seems to be pretty empty, so... I, I don't see any red coins in there, do you? And he's gonna be like, immediately like, I've got it! Yes, I surely do have it! What have I got? Why, the answer to our polluted ocean problem, of course! And the answer is you! You must go to the ocean floor! Of course, that is impossible for you at the moment. Therefore, I've made an area for you to hone your skills! And, uh, yeah, he gives me, like, a helmet of sorts, and that's really all that he gives you. There's no oxygen tank attached to it. There's no nothing, but anyway, let's not question that. So, yeah, he's going to, and what the pooper scoopers, I'm inside the bottle. How did this happen? Is it, what, huh? I just don't, I, oh. Anyway, there's eight red coins floating around in the bottle here, and you can uh, navigate this area using your hover nozzle. What you want to do is look for the red coins in the air at first, just to... Uh, I sh I sh not in the air, excuse me. Out in the free swim area, I should say. Because this is no air here. Yeah! And uh, if you ever... Oh, shoot. I'm getting caught on the wall of the bottle there. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, there should be four in the air. Uh, wait, there's five in the air? I thought there was only four. Well, good thing I seen that then. Um, okay, so go up to this one here. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. This is kind of awkward to do in case you don't realize. There's also fish swimming around here, and the coins will cover your uh, health as well, or say your uh, air, so that, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. There's another one right next to the sign. Um, yeah, you basically just control by moving the control stick and pressing the R button, and that's about it. And holy cow, I I'm listening to outside here, and uh, a load of rain just started pouring outside. Wow! Holy poopers. And anyway, there's the last coin. There's also something that I'd like to show in this area, if I can do it. Um, if you can get the camera to pan itself inside this weird structure here, I'm, I'm going to try this. I'm not very good at getting it to work, but sometimes I can get it to work. If you go into, like, this hole here, okay, I'll turn the camera around and try to get it to go inside, like, let's turn it and go zoom in on Mario. No, come on. Have to get, have to show secret, and come on, gotta get the camera to go inside. Well, there's something in here that's really, really weird. I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show this, because I just can't get it to work right. Let's try... Um, let's get some coins first, actually, before I keep uh, on this for too long here, and you know, run out of air, and whoa, there's a little water jet there of sorts. Maybe that's not- oh my god, fish attack! Well, actually, that'll help me a little bit, because it'll push me back down, and I guess that uh, water jet there was to, like, it forces you to go up from- ah, I see, so it wasn't the bottle that I was touching before, it was just that there is little jets of water that I couldn't see. Okay, now come on, I can do this. All I have to do is like switch the camera around, and then I should be able to see inside it. But it's really awkward to do. Again. Okay, let's try going the first person mode and flipping it around like this. Oh, wait, wait, can I? Okay, see the. Okay, I think I got it. Turn it around. Okay, see, there's a book. See that right there? What is that book doing there? It's like it's it's like a hidden Easter egg or something like that. I don't know why that book is there. No one knows why that book is there, but there's a book there. Uh, I just... I don't know! Anyway, grab the shine, and I'll see you in the next shine. I think I have time to do one more of this part. The next shine is episode 4, Ely Mouth's Dentist. Yeah, looks like Dr. Mario is back in the house. So, now that the waterfall is back and flowing once again, 
you can actually jump down it to get to um, a secret, well I shouldn't say secret because the game's going to lead you right to it. So yeah, he's going to give me our scuba suit of sorts here that only contains a helmet and no, and no oxygen tank whatsoever. Anyway, get all the way up to the top and use that wire for a really quick shortcut. And you can also wall kick. I'm going to show you some of those acrobatic things for shortcuts now that I said that I was going to do in shine number one. So I, I kind of did one over here when I did the side flip. And, oh, that worked out really well there. One, two, triple jump for the win. Oh, I tried the uh, hover nozzle once I touched uh, before I touched the wall. Excuse me, and I ended up touching the wall and doing the button and almost wall kick. Anyway, he's gonna be like, "Yeah, I'm all." I mean, I do look like I'm ready, but yeah, I am ready. And there's a giant eel that moved into the, your home. What? What? What home? Is there more to Noki Bay than meets the eye? Yeah, of course there is. Come on, don't be silly, man. So, the waterfall, as you can see, just goes right down there, and... Now, you notice the water that's coming out of the waterfall is perfectly clean, but the water that's coming out from that alcove isn't. That's where he's getting this impression that it's, you know, not safe. So anyway, dive down from up here directly into the waterfall. Look how cool this looks. And that's the only way to get to this uh, secret area here. It's kind of like Atlantis or something, you know, the... Uh, Atlantis in hi mythical history or something like that and they're way at the bottom there is an eel see those uh, glo four glowing things those are actually eyes yeah kind of creepy down here but at the same time really beautiful I'm just gonna go into first part person mode to look around here while I uh, let myself slowly descend into the darkness uh, just to give you a good tour of this place. I mean, this place is just gorgeous. There's some blue coins hidden in this area, too, which I'll be back to get later. They're kind of hard to find, though, because this place is actually much, much larger than it uh, looks on this initial shaft here. Anyway, once you go above him like this, this is the eel, and look how... Oh, boy! 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 Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't know what happens if he eats you. I'm guessing it kills you. But, uh, yeah, you gotta wash off his teeth and only focus on one tooth at a time just to make things a little easier for you. And if you're ever running out of air, just go along the perimeter here and collect some coins. And you shouldn't have much trouble. And about that thunder that I was mentioning, or, I, mean, I mean that rain that I was mentioning earlier, now it's thundering. I guess we were, we were supposed to get thunderstorms or something today. I don't know, I don't really watch the weather all that much, to be honest. I just kind of go with the flow. And oh my god, he's trying to suck me in, he's trying to suck me in, and look at that, he's got a gold tooth. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you gotta wash off his teeth with the hover nozzle. This isn't hard to do whatsoever, it's just kind of tedious and also kind of tricky to do at the same time. And that's not the good kind of tedious, because it's just like, it's, it's not hard, it just takes a while. It's uh, Anyway, I'm gonna grab some more coins while he recovers. Uh, his teeth never get dirty again once you start washing them off, so don't worry about taking too long here, just keep your hair up. So, yeah, let's just go back over to him. His body doesn't hurt you whatsoever, that's why I assume that if he eats you or something, it's like a one-hit kill or something. It just seems like something that would be a one-hit kill in a Mario game, like Boss Bass. The legendary Boss Bass, may I add. And when he's spinning like this, it makes it pretty hard to, uh... Uh, hit any teeth as well because you can't like get in any position to clean teeth and that tooth just fell out dang it uh, I'm sorry for knocking your tooth out mr. Ely mouth guy whatever but I'm afraid that I must cure you of your tooth problem in order to save the oceans of Noki Bay so let's get back over there and look out for those poison bubbles there as well those hurt you and if you spray them they disperse after a while, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, and come on, man, there's only a couple teeth left. And it's so hard to stay in one place, too. It's like, I, 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 I don't want to say that there's like a current or something, but it's just very hard to control, like, steadily in one place when, when you're uh, uh, hovering underwater. I just don't know why. There's just something weird about it. it still, this boss fight is pretty cool, especially where it takes place. Any day now, he's gonna pop himself back up here. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And uh, or maybe he's just spinning all fancy like or something like that. I don't know. He, he 
looks like he's on a spin cycle too. Maybe he's got some clothes to dry or something. But I gotta say, you aren't gonna dry your clothes very well under here, that's for certain. So let's just clean off the rest of his teeth if I can. There's a very dirty one here. And I got him! Yeah! I got all of them! Thank you for that word of advice, Flood. And give me the gold tooth! Give me the gold tooth! I want the gold tooth! Aww! Anyway, this gold tooth turns into a shine. And it also turns into a heart, may I add. <laughs> See that heart of coins down there? Anyway, that's all for this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye, bye!